Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man. I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right, right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? Uh, you feel the meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play. Tell me why. Um, I don't... People came and went a lot. And besides, everyone moves on eventually, right? <laughs> Not everyone. Not people who get so close they're like family. I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches. And... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel them in. Come on, pull up on the rod. Now give it a nice pull. Reel them in. Don't let it escape. Come on, pull up on the rod. Now give it a nice pull. Reel them in. Yeah, I'm not good at this. Come on, pull up on the rod. Don't let it escape. Now give it a nice pull. Reel him in. I got it. I got it. Oh, my guy. Last slippery little. This got was... it. <laughs> Bravo. No, a bad size oh. fish as far as I can tell. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. So, ice fishing. I mean, yeah. What isn't there to like about standing in the middle of a frozen lake? Um, it might. The ice might break. You got anything good in there? Maybe. But who says I'm willing to share? Okay, fine. Be that way. Alright, here we go. You got anything good in there? Maybe. How about them apples? Oh, <laughs> nice so job. Fished me. So you weren't all talk. Impressed. I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. You have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez. You don't mess around, do you? <laughs> Told you earlier. I'm a very serious man. So, about last night... I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I don't think they're too different. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? 
Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her and start fresh. <laughs> Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? Figuring out how to live out here. You mean outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now, I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never going to give up on you. And you can lean on me too if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Don't you say anything. I got this. Come on, pull up on the rod. Three out of three. Well played. <laughs> I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Can I ask you something kind of weird and maybe hard to answer? Weird and kind of hard to answer my jam. What's up? How'd you know you were ready to uh, trust anyone enough to put yourself out there? Okay. Yeah, that, that is a hard question. <laughs> Told you. There's not really two ways about it. You gotta be willing to take a hit. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. Yeah, I... Hmm. I have absolutely no problem with two uh, guy characters having a uh, license in a game. But this does kind of feel to me... And look, this is just me, and this is just based on the fact that Don't Nod also had this in um life is strange but this seems to me kind of like it's perfectly fine for these two characters to just be friends and this kind of feels like it's being put in the game to say gay relationships are okay friendships are okay too now if you're inclined to judge me for this please do so I won't stop you. I'm just putting my thoughts out there. I want them to be friends. Not more than friends. <laughs> Hard to argue with that. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. See, the, the game's choosing for me anyway. Maybe that was because of my choices earlier, but... I think it's worth a chance. Don't you? On a 
honestly, this really isn't what I want from the game. I think the game is going to have this happen, whether I wanted to or not, and saying I'm sorry but it won't be, will just be, I'm sorry but I'm too scared to, and that's what, not, not what I want either. So I'm going to pick that first one, but I don't like the game going in this direction, I have to say. I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with I you. I can say anything cool. to my friends and it'd be cool. I don't see why we can't... I also don't see why we can't have a, a sexual character in a computer game. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. Hey, you're missing the show. Very well. You okay? So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Hey, Allie. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay, uh, call me later? You know I will. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. God, why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec?
So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. I don't really like this sarcastic comment, but... I don't want to get into an argument with her by saying the top one, so... I'm not surprised. Burning down the barn didn't really seem like a Sam move. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. He'd never hurt Mary Ann's kids. There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Mary Ann first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. Ugh, what a mess. That's not gonna help us get this house sold. Yeah, we got our deadbeat dad to thank for that. So, obviously the ladder's gone, but what about that handle? Is it still here somewhere? You wanna take another look at the picture? Okay. It might help. Seems to be kind of in the middle. What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. We don't have to do this. We might not like what we find. When has that ever stopped us? I thought I saw something red over here, but I guess my mind's just playing tricks on me. Just a regular old light switch. No lever. Man, this place is a mess. If there was ever a time to find a magic portal. The handle should be behind this. Ah, oh, there it is. It's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on, let's find- Well, that's way too high to jump. You want to give me a leg up? I'm so not touching your nasty shoes. We'll find a ladder. Sort of shirts like, isn't it? Can you see anything? Nope, not a here, found a switch. That shaved a few years off my life. Whoa. It's... Her 
her story. Look, she left us something. It's got a combination it's, uh, of letters. Puzzle time. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yeah, let's start here. This is gonna take me a while. Do you have any idea what the code might be? No. So we should probably see if Marianne hid anything before we go trying to guess. Why are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I don't know. Hmm. It looks like that little piece should move, but it's stuck. Maybe these need to be done in order. The Mad Hunter seems to be first. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from it looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? Well, here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Oh. Maybe it's a message. Like the different Hmm. Something about Marianne, right? Since she's the princess? Yeah. Why don't we try to find them all and then see if it makes any sense? Uh, she wrote some seriously depressing stories. Hmm. Seems to be more the picture than the writing. But, um... Read the writing if you want. Phones are useful here, especially if, if, if it's got a camera. It moves. Oh, mm. some of these parts are buttons. So I assume we're going for the things that. Uh, uh, that are wrong here. So this thing isn't on the original. The princess is running away from the Mad Hunter. Who was sent by the Gold Lady, according to the story. Do you think the Gold Lady could have been Marianne's mom? I mean, she always used to say she moved to the end of the world to get away from her family. 
Huh. Yeah, you're right. She ran away. Just like the princess is here. This bit's wrong too. This would be the crafty goblins there. Yep, castle. Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be her mother's castle. It looks like the princess is running away from it. So, Marianne ran away from home. And she grew up kind of rich? I'm not saying a lot of other things that were different here. Oh, the hands. Wait, the hand is different too. The Mad Hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the Gold Lady cut off his other one, or after he earned it back? Which either makes it before most of the stories, or after. Yeah, at some point when she was running away from whatever the hell the Mad Hunter meant to Marianne. Uh, this is different too. Uh, it's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Uh, pictures, letters. Have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures of Marianne I've ever seen were the ones hanging on the walls. I have to say, Marianne made an incredibly complicated setup just to hide this stuff. She could have just put a safe in here. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? Mm. I don't know. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I think that's her mom in the background. Mm, one of these must be a clue to the symbol of the box. I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Mary Ann. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. Did you know she studied engineering? No. It, it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled. Like someone tried to throw it away. An artsy environmentalist. Yep, that sounds like Marianne's exact kind of catnip. Uh, I'm gonna read this. Marianne, I can't do this anymore. You deserve better than cliche bullshit like it's not you, it's me. But the truth is, it's all just been too much to deal with. I realised I'm not. Just not ready. Maybe if we could have dealt with all of this on our own without your mum constantly putting pressure on us, things could have been different. But the damage is done and it's probably too late for that now. I'm sorry. You're an amazing person. You made me a better man. I hate myself for doing this, but I feel like we'd both be better off part. There I go with the cliches again. Please don't ever stop being who you are. Here, but I'm gone, Brent. Could this guy have been any more cryptic? Hmm. The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So, did Marianne grow up kind of rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. Well, it's been about 25 minutes and the last episode was pretty long, so I'm going to end the episode there. I will see you next time.